So what we're going to do is we need sausage, oatmeal, boiled eggs, breadcrumbs, a mixing bowl, a bowl for the breadcrumbs, a bowl for the eggshells, you need a cookie sheet with a cooling rack that you go in the oven, and we need the oven set to 300 and 325 degrees. So first thing first, I use a pound of sausage for a dozen eggs. So two dozen eggs gets two pounds of sausage. Oatmeal, because the pork will shrink, the oatmeal will expand. So when you cook it with the oatmeal, it evens it out. If you have a lot of guests you don't like, use a lot of oatmeal. Here's some pepper. But the only spicing it gets is pepper. Yeah, that's good. Right. You can also just mix this with your hand. It should be all cooked. Just keep turning, pushing. So they get soft and waterlogged from grease logged. This crap. This uh, combination of sausage and oats. You have to estimate and try to get it right. So that's hard when you got two dozen eggs to get it down to being each one of the pieces 124th of the lot. So what I do do little waypoints. One quarter of the batch should you go into one quarter of the eggs. So give it up into four. And what happens is I'm gonna do a half pound of sausage for each six eggs. So trying these should get stretched over six eggs. Why this is the uh, why they're called scotch eggs this might be why because you make it stretch to what you got. So, dividing this up into smaller balls. Good rule of thumb is you need about as much sausage as you have egg. So this over this would be about the right amount. So first thing you do is you flatten it out into kind of a roughly egg-shaped piece. It's a very flat patty. This stuff is ready. What I've done is taken some of the oats and breadcrumbs and mixed them together. Helps to lock in all the easy goodness. And then what you do is you start to wrap it around the outside. And you seal it up. And that egg was a little bit gimpy, which all gets hidden under the sausage. So that which does not go in the sausage, it's all in the sausage. Detail lost by the sausage. You end up with an egg. <coughs> so that's sort of what it looks like by comparison. You toss it in unceremoniously, toss it around a few times, give it a good rolling coverage. You may even want to just pat it down a bit just to force the breadcrumbs to hook into all the wet sausage mixture. <coughs> Push that in, force it around. So, roughly covered. 
Gotta watch out because bits of white sausage fat and bits of white egg look the same. So you have to make sure you've got good overall coverage. Because this stuff will cook okay. But if you uh, leave a spot for the seam to open up, it'll open up and it cooks. And then as you can see any things that drop in there, that just helps the egg. It just helps the sausage mix. And Italian or Italian sausage works as well. I tried chorizo sausage and that failed. I haven't tried Chinese sausage, but I bet that would work. But the winner all around is traditional pork sausage meat. The nice thing is it's cheap. So this sausage meat is less than two bucks a pound. So you can also spice up the breading instead. You can throw pepper in there if you wanted, or herbs or anything else to spice it up. So, big sheet out. Squeeze it in. Fold it over like a blanket. A blanket made of meat. Mmm. Blanket made of meat. So, voila, roll, press. Now, the sausage meat will shrink, the oats will expand, so these shouldn't entirely touch, but if they kind of touch, it's not the worst thing in the world. And you can kind of play fast and to how you position it. If you're doing a dozen eggs, you probably just have two lumps and a half dozen each, or four lumps and a quarter pound each that can get you your mix. Well, probably the process. There's much of that we need to record. So you cook these for about half an hour. They're still greasy and hot. And you wait for them, you let them cool, and you cut them in half. If you bake them a low enough temperature, that's when the splitting happens to a minimum. So you can cool them, eat them cool, or you could freeze them and bring them out later. My suggestion is because um, the top is kind of um, fall apart and the heart and the egg will get relatively hard. You have to wait for them to completely defrost before you cut them in half. So if you freeze them, you want to cut them beforehand or let them defrost generously and then cut them. Ta-da!